Hello, this is Antoinette. Um, I'm going to show you some very basic uh, five-point flowers. These are sort of your meat and potatoes of doing floral henna designs. Um, I'm going to start off by showing you... First of all, I'm using a pen because I want to do this a little bit faster. Um, you have three parts or two parts to every flower. You have your center, you have the middle, and you have the petals. Um, so I'm going to start off by showing a couple of different centers. You know, you're very basic. Everybody starts off with, with a circle. That's great. If you're going to do a sideways flower, you want to have an ellipse. So you either have a circle or an ellipse. And then there's different ways of filling in this circle. Um, my most favorite is to start off by doing a swirl that then comes back around and creates its own uh, circle. Very straightforward and very easy. Doing henna, it's really just rip, you're done. Um, you can also start by doing a circle and then you decide later on you can just add it in there. You can also do a much more intense spiral. That works really, really well. Again, all of these are really fast and easy for when you're trying to stick a whole bunch of them together. Um, another, so that's, that's pretty basic. Um, I'm going to show you a few more examples of how you can fill your flower centers. You can do shading to create an illusion. You can also do a highlight to create an illusion. Um, the most common that I see around when you're not doing this kind of a swirl is to do a grid. You can also do just a basic circle fill so that you end up with basically two lines. Um, or one that I kind of like is to do sort of like a yin yang fill in one side. That again gives you a highlight shadow. So once you have come up with a bunch of different ideas of how you can fill those in, um, that's the basis for your flower. Oh, I want to do a little bit more with the elliptoid center. You can do a hatch, a, a grid shade, a, a grid. I'm not as fond of that. I either like to do a shade along the bottom or do a highlight on the top and call that a button center. So you start off with your centers. And it's actually kind of cool to come up with a sheet like this while you are practicing so that you can say, I'm going to pick that one this time, I'm going to pick that one next time. And you can remember all of these. So the next thing that you've got is your center. I'm sorry, you've already done your center. You've got your middle. And this is the easiest and quickest way to, be, to bulk up your flower. Um, you know, however you want to put that in, then put in that middle part. There's a lot of different ways that you can play with that. You know, give it a little change up. This one is when you have more time and are more, you know, relaxed about what you're doing. Another thing that I do on occasion um, is, you know, when I've created my center, I then pick out points of where my petals are going to be. So this will be a five pointed. And then I put in a few little humps. And what this does is it creates a space between the edge of the petals instead of like this where the petals would be coming off like so. So come up with a few different ideas. Um, you know, play around with that. You have your middle. So then let's talk about um, your petals. Um, I'm going to do a line. So pretend that this is the line of your center or the line of your middle. Um, very basic petal is just a round, another round. Um, the next thing is around with a point. You can even get a little bit more fancy with that and have it be a little bit more square. I find this one quite lovely. Um, or have it be more from the center. 
like so. Um, a variation of this is to have a three-pointed petal and a variation of the three-pointed petal is to have a hump, a spike, and another hump. Mm, maybe do like a heart-shaped one. All of these are small. They're, you know, pretty, you, you can do this off of a really small center. Um, you can do it off of a larger center too, put more petals around it. And you've also got longer ones. This creates a very nice daisy. Um, you can do the same thing. But with this kind of a fill, I actually like this a lot because it makes it look like you've got two layers of petals. Um, another variation on that is to create your three humps at the top. Fill that in. And yeah. So that's a pretty good start for a bunch of different petals. Um, so now you've got one, two, and three. You say, I want this center, I want that fill, and I want those petals. So you go center with this fill. And what did I say? Did I say that one? Oh, that was quite a little disaster there. It's lopsided. That's okay. The um, thing about flowers is that they are never perfect. kind of a disaster. But if you did that, and then if you did kind of a shade from the outside, it just kind of makes it look a little bit funky, you know? All right. So then I want to talk to you a little bit about fill. Not the guy. It's the thing that you do with flower petals. So I'm going to draw out a few of these. And actually, you know what? I'm just going to work on this for a second off camera and I'm going to load this into a second video. So volume number two, coming on up. <laughs> 